Hi, everybody. So welcome to episode one of Frank's TV. I have a lot of things that I want to talk about today. Uh, primarily, I'm going to talk about happiness and how to get there. Um, except not really, but I'm also going to talk about what makes me really happy and how I got there. Except not really. Um, and I'm going to talk about what this channel means to me and sort of give you a little intro into what it is that I want to do here. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and stick around. The purpose of her life isn't yours to understand. Cause she's so free from the man. Cause that girl does what no one can. That's Frank. She's the type of girl that you love to the test. But when the one that's feelings you choose to repress, she's so beautiful, I don't know how to address. Let's call her F R A N X. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first installment of Frank's TV. Um, I guess this is episode one, since I've never done something like this before. Um, but I'm really excited about sitting down and having conversations and bringing up topics and sort of beginning to shed light and like discover different ways that we can begin to think about things and that we can really uh, start to reframe how we approach the world in general. Um, I think that it's important for people to have these kinds of conversations. I think it's important for us to not shy away from things that make us uncomfortable. Um, in the same way that it makes me uncomfortable to be on camera and talk to people and you know, expose myself to the world in that way. I think that part of what that's doing is that I want the world to know that there are people like me who have these kind of vibrant thoughts and kind of collect information in a really obscure way and think about and synthesize things differently. You know, um, I don't think that we're supposed to stay into like a little box of what we think or who we know or like all of the worldly things but I think we're actually supposed to want to expand our knowledge and our perspectives and so my hope is that I can help begin um, those conversations you know and I want it to be a conversation too so I don't want Frank's TV to be like some sort of like situation where I just come on here and like, oh, listen to my new album, or like, oh, buy these purses that I made. No, I don't want it to be that. I want it to really just be a place where I can kind of share with um, the world, you know? I have a really deep calling to want to express, and ultimately, with, with especially with um, the global pandemic and the inability to actually have physical space with people, I think that this is really my next opportunity um, to do that. You know, it's the next, sorry, there was something rolling by behind the wall. This is not a closed space, obviously. Um, so, Okay, that being said, <laughs> so that being said, I think the first topic I really want to talk about is happiness. You know, um, happiness, happiness, you know, joy, excitement, smiles, cheer, laughter, happiness. I, so what does it mean to be happy? I think I've been thinking about this for a lot of time. And this past, specifically, like maybe like, six weeks that's kind of all i've been thinking about is like what does it mean to be happy okay so if i'm thinking about things in like a worldly sense happiness would be like money cars a job a partner um you know luxury hotels traveling designer but that's not how i think about things at all you know when i think about happiness and when i what i've kind of come to 
is that happiness is like food on my table. Um, you know, clothes on my back, uh, friends, people who love me, you know, having, convers having conversations of any depth with people who I know are listening. Um, happiness has sort of been this kind of like ever-changing and like amorphous idea that I've been focusing on because I've wanted to sort of reframe the way that I've chosen to be happy and I wanted to begin to shed light perhaps on what it means to me. So, so for me personally, I guess I'll start. It's that when I think about my own happiness and like how I got happy or like what makes me happy, you know, it really began with a decision. You know, I took a decision. I said, it was like, I was maybe, I don't know, 15, 16, you know, I was still in the closet, even though I never necessarily came out of the closet, which side note is a total other conversation, a whole other video about coming out because that is its whole own thing. I'm like, I'm breaking this down into pieces because these conversations are all very big. So I'm trying to do like nuggets and like condense it into just one and stick around something. I know, anybody who's talked to me, do you know, you know how difficult it is for me to just talk about one thing? I know, but welcome. We're just talking about happiness today. Today we're just talking about happiness. So happiness, I think that happiness involves a lot of things. I think it involves a lot of acceptance. I think it involves a lot of, um, what's the word? Not like tolerance, but uh, you sort of have to let go. You know, you kind of, peace. It's really, it's more about peace than it is about like happiness. Because the sensation of feeling happy, you can feel, ha I could feel happy, um, you know, going to the bar and having a hundred thousand drinks and not waking up and not waking up in my bed. And like, that might be a moment of happiness, but is that really the thing that makes me happy? No. It's a moment of happiness, but how do you find everlasting happiness? And I think it comes with accepting the truth. And I think it comes with living in reality. And I think it comes with gaining perspective and letting go. When I chose to be happy, it wasn't a choice to be happy. It was a choice to Stop getting in the way of my own happiness. I went ahead and said, why am I unhappy? I'm unhappy because I don't fit into this outfit right, or I don't have the money to buy the clothes that I want, or I'm not the best singer in the world, or I'm not the best dancer, or no one's noticing me, or this job's not, they don't care about me, or like blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, when I dove into every single one of those instances of unhappiness, you know what I realized? That I was unhappy because I was choosing to be unhappy. And I was choosing to say, I'm gonna limit my happiness until after I get these things, until after I achieve job or release EP or get partner or whatever, you know, I was, there was a choice that I was making. I was choosing to say, I'm not happy and I'm not going to be happy until this day, until this moment. But what ended up happening was that those things don't come. They don't. You know, if you live in that kind of an, an unhappiness and if you live in that kind of world where you're waiting for things, for other things, for things, for things, for things, whatever, you end up putting yourself into a situation where you never get that happiness. Because the realization becomes that even once you get these things that you desire, you, there's always more. There's always more. More, 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 more. Capitalism, more, 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 more. No, no. I chose to say no. I chose to stop and I chose to say no. I went ahead and said, you know what? 
No. I don't care about how much money this job is offering me. I don't care about the fact that this might be the perfect job in all of history that could have ever existed for me. I'm not happy. And you know why I wasn't happy? I wasn't happy because I was choosing unhappiness. But the second that I chose to be happy, everything changed. Because you come to, ex I came to accept the situations of my life. I came to notice the reality of what things were. It wasn't that I was, instead of saying, oh, I'm gonna be happy when I have a partner, I chose to say, I'm happy with or without a partner. I'm happy by myself. I'm happy looking in the mirror and saying, bitch, you get to be you. And that's it. No one else can be you. No one else. And that's it. It seems like I'm trying to like simplify it, but I think it's more that I've just deduced, you know, I sucked it down into like one thing. And it really just comes to making that choice for yourself. You know, I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm not saying that everyone's journey is the same because I'm 28 years old. It's taken me 28 years to get into this type of headspace. That's exactly what I'm saying. Happiness is not a destination. Happiness is a state of mind. That's what it really comes down to. It's choosing to be happy, choosing to alter your perspective, and choosing to say, I'm happy. Regardless of everything in the world, I'm happy. There's always gonna be things happening in the world. There's always gonna be problems. There's always gonna be devastation. There's always gonna be grief, murder, death, war. Those are these kinds of like inherent human things that we as a society have yet to overcome. So, but does that mean that I can't be happy? No. Does it mean that I don't care if I choose to be happy? No, of course I care. Of course I care. But am I gonna stop being happy because I care? No. Happiness is, is, a, is a state of mind. Happiness is flexibility. You know, you kind of choose. You literally say, you know what? Oh my God, I got hit by a car. Oh, life over. Life's not over. Did I die? No. Did I break a bone? No. Yes, I actually did get hit by a car. Fucking don't bike at night and get lights if you're gonna bike at night. I'm not gonna tell you guys a story because it's private. Some people know it and it's embarrassing. So that being said, but did I choose to go and be like, oh my God, like I got hit by a car. Like I can never ride my bike again. No, riding my bike makes me really happy. Riding a bike and having that zen moment where I'm just me and the bike and the road and the wind and the sky and the outside, that makes me really happy. So rather than, than build up these things on top of riding my bike and build up these fears and fuel the things that are kind of standing in the way, I choose to say, you know what? I'm not gonna ride my bike at night anymore. And I can still be happy and I can plan my time accordingly and I can ride my bike when it's safe to ride my bike outside. That's it. You know, I think happiness is like a simplification. It's the state of mind of happiness is choosing to simplify and strip back. And like I said, take perspective, you know, let things go, get out of the world, get out of these type of like mindsets and mentalities that are built in like work and business and like, you know, oh, what if these people don't care about me? Or like, I wonder what they think. Or like, everyone online doesn't like my photo. Or like, all, oh, oh, I don't even know what else. I've gained weight. Oh my God, like, I'm not wearing the best clothes. Damn, my hair is too short. My hair is too long. I've split ends, like whatever. Choosing to live in your happiness based on any of those things is not it. It's not it. The only way to find everlasting happiness is to just accept the nature of reality. It's to just say, this is how things are. I can't change that. This is what it is. It is what it is. 
people are gonna say, oh, that's so bl blunt. That's, um, what's the word? Not meek, bleak. That's so bleak. Oh, Frankie, it's so bleak. Like, how could you say that? Like, oh, like, how could you just say that it is what it is? Because it is what it is. Because it is, period. That's it, that's it, that's it. It. What else is it? Tell me. What else is it? Nothing. What? There's one reality that we all subscribe to. That's it. So the difference that comes in is how you perceive it, what your reactions are to it, who you choose to be within that reality. If I chose to make myself a slave to corporate capitalism, guess what? I would never be happy. But because I have taken decisions in my own life, which we'll get to in a whole separate thing. But because I've taken those decisions and I've committed to them and I've committed to myself and I've chosen to not give a fuck how I'm perceived or what people think of me or you know what I what 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 I do that's measured as successful. Because I chose to not give a fuck about those things anymore, I actually became very happy. Very, very, very content because I realize the things that are real in my life. Like I have a family who I'm blessed that loves me. I have friends that I'm blessed to have who love me and support me. I'm blessed to have a house. I'm blessed to eat food. I'm fucking blessed to even be sitting here and being able to do this. People don't have the opportunity to do things like this. People don't have the chance to do the things that I get to do because I'm, I've been blessed and I've been brought up in a situation that not a lot of people have. And so am I gonna sit here and really choose to make my life miserable because I don't have what the next person has? No. No, I'm gonna be grateful. I'm gonna accept my reality. I'm gonna look at my reality and say, this is what's happening in my life. This is the person that I get to be. These are the things that I get to have, that I'm blessed to have. And in that, I get to be happy. I really, really get to be happy because nothing is taken for granted. And every single thing in my life makes me happy now because I've also made these decisions that were hard decisions but I've chosen myself and I've chosen to be selfish in certain aspects like with my time or with the people that I surround myself with or with the food I eat or the things I do or how I want to go about anything really you know and it is semi-isolating, you know? Not everyone's gonna understand you. People aren't gonna always respect it. There are a lot of people who don't understand this type of lifestyle, but that's a choice, you know? I said, so I have to do this thing where I'll tell, tell my, <clears throat> I'll do this thing where I'll tell myself phrases that I want to like, a, to like permeate throughout my life. And the phrase that I recently have been following a lot is, I would rather be alone than misunderstood. Because I found that being misunderstood hurt my happiness because I began to absorb the ways that people were thinking of me. And I began to think that it mattered when it didn't because I knew how I felt about me. And that's it, you know? I think as queer people, people of color, um, anybody else, uh, all the fucking umbrellas that I fit into, you know, all of these things, it doesn't matter because ultimately the only thing that matters is what I think about me and who I choose to see in the mirror and what I choose to accept. And I choose to accept me, period, period. That's it. I choose to accept me and I choose to be happy. I choose to say, this is my life, this is my day, and I'm happy and I'm happy for it. You know, I think anyone that's worked with, worked with me in um, any corporate field 
corporate field, please. I work in retail. Anybody that's worked with me in any of the stores I've worked in can probably tell you the same thing, was that I just choose to be happy. That's it. You know, things are going to happen. It, things happen every day, all the time. But am I going to be unhappy? No. I'm still going to have my giant breakfast and I'm still going to have my coffee and my water and be in my nice outfit and feel really nice and cute and choose to be me and not waver from that. You know, the more cemented I, be I become in my own happiness, the more difficult it is to take me out of it because ultimately there are no problems. There is no suffering. There is no stress. Those things are all made up because we're attached to things that don't exist. Don't get me wrong, there are situations that are different. I'm speaking generally. There are some people who, I'm just speaking generally, okay? I'm not talking about specific people or specific things. There are other people who have really big problems, who have come from really horrible situations and those people, every, like I said, everyone has their own path to happiness. But getting there and understanding what it is, I think is the first step. Understanding what it is. Understanding what you're after. Knowing that it's just about acceptance. It's just about a, it choosing to say, this is me. Um, I'm gonna check my computer really quick, hold on. Oh, <laughs> screensaver. I didn't know I had a screensaver. I've never had my computer, well, so also this little setup is really neat. Over time, um, so I've been making music for a really long time, this is a total sidebar. I've been making music for maybe like nine years, 10 years. I don't know, fuck. I'm old. Compared to a lot of other people in the world, I'm very young, but I've been through a lot of stuff in my own life that I choose to feel and take it on as like I understand the experience. So yeah, it makes me kind of old. But it more so is that I chose to learn everything that was being thrown my way and chose to stay present in each of those moments. And in all of that, because I maintained presence, understood what was happening, sucked the lessons out, and chose to say, this wasn't, none of this stuff was a mistake. It was just a learning process. Then now, at this point, I have no regrets. I accept everything. I accept the way that things are. And like I said, I've been saying this more and over and over and I'm kind of boring myself with it, but like I said, I chose to be happy. And that's it. So, moving past, I want to bring us to a recurring segment that I really wanted to do on here that I thought would be really fun and really cute. Um, it's called What's in My Purse. And today we have this little jewel toned number. You know, I got it at um, a store and it was on sale and I was really excited because it was really, really cheap and I had just enough cash to buy it. Uh, little rhinestones, iridescent thing. This would be like, this whole look honestly would be, um, if I was going, where am I going in this outfit? Um, I'm going to a friend's house. I'm going to a birthday party. I'm going to have drinks, um, you know, maybe work, depending on what my job is, but I don't have a job. So right now I'm not going anywhere, but I guess it would be like, if I was going to go to like something kind of casual, but formal, so maybe like a baby shower. Um, I don't know anybody who's having babies either, but things like that. that. I guess that's where I would go in this. But also too, I could kind of wear this just like on whatever. Like if I was going to go to lunch with my family, I could wear this. Um, we, used to, we used to always, oh, this is traumatizing, but there was a saying, it was like, oh, like wear what you would wear to the grocery store. Um, uh, something they used to tell me in a place that I used to work, um, as a way to kind of get me to dress more corporate-y. Um, but the gag of that was that this is what I would wear to the grocery store. This is no different than what I normally would wear. It's just a little dressed up. Um, but anyway, okay, so what's in my purse? What's in my purse? 
So today in my purse, I have this little bear friend. Oh, he's so cute. Do you see him? Little bear friend. Um, and he's so cute. I've had this little bear friend since I was maybe, I don't even know how old, like eight, nine, maybe seven. He's come, he comes from like one of those like downy, like he gets the downy fabric softener. Well, it's the downy bear. So I can't not brand drop that, but um, they used to come with these like little wrapped around stuffed animals and it was so cute. And um, I guess how, I just wanted to come and bring him and show him, you know, he's such a token of my childhood and the, the sort of joy that and happiness that I used to experience as a child was so simple and so small. Um, it was like in things like this, you know, and the fact that I still have him, he hasn't gone anywhere. You know, every once in a while we'll wash him so that he stays clean and that's it. Um, and I brought him on here because I wanted to talk about uh, returning to your childlike self and accessing happiness through the way that you were happy as a kid. So I've been reading a lot of books and talking to a lot of other people who hopefully I'll get on here and talk to you guys too. But they all talk about how um, you sort of like wanna return to being a child and to seeing life through your childhood childlike eyes um and that's kind of what he's on here to say you know is to say that that me as a child like I was super quiet and minding my own business unless I liked you in which case I talked your head off and I was like up in your business and I just really enjoyed playing and I really enjoyed art and imagining things and I had a huge imagination and I was super unique. Um, my parents will also tell you that I was very soft and very loving and caring and sweet. Um, and those are all things that I'm learning to continue to implement in my adult life now. Um, Little Bear reminds me of that. You know, he reminds me to say like, I can be sweet. I can, I can be everything. I can be everything I want to be. But ultimately, the child in me wants to be sweet, wants to be caring, and just wants to play. And just wants to have fun. Nothing is too serious. You know, my mom tells me this story about this one time that she was driving and she like accidentally ran the stoplight in her, or the stop sign in our neighborhood. And she said she was like, oh my God, like crap. Like I, I can't do that, da da da. Like Frank is in the back seat. And she said that she turned around and like looked at me and, and that I looked at her and I was like, oh, you know, you'll do it tomorrow. It's okay. That's so me. That's so me as an adult. That's so me. The more that I've stripped away, the more I realize that I'm exactly who I've always been. My mom and dad and my brother will all tell you the same thing. The only difference is that now I'm super tall and I'm a lot more outspoken than I was as a child, obviously. But for the most part, I really, nothing's that serious. And nothing in my life is ever that serious. And I don't ever have to take anything that seriously because things just are what they are and that's it. And I choose to love and I choose to be happy. And I choose to say, this is the nature of my reality. It is what it is. And I'm happy. And that's it. And hopefully, this whole conversation, this whole stream of consciousness of mine and blah, 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 hopefully, this can help put you into a headspace where you begin to understand how little all of everything matters when it comes to being happy. And how happiness really is just a choice to accept the things that are happening to you. No, I used to have a friend, Mike, he used to say, things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Accepting that and choosing to just be in life is what ultimately brought me the most happiness and satisfaction that I could have ever asked for. And choosing to just 
living life and that's it. Really, that's it. So on that note, um, I think the camera might have gone out, but I'll go ahead and just say this anyway, even if it hasn't. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to. Subscribe if you don't. I don't really, not really here for that. Um, if you have anything to say, please tell me in the comments. Like, if you want to address something, if you want me to talk about something else in the future, or bring something back up, tell me, and I'll talk about it again, and we'll continue the conversation. Um, if you had, weren't following me or if you were confused that's on you kind of you can watch the episode hundreds of times i'm i'm just gonna sit here and talk i don't really plan or script any of this i literally just have note cards that say like happiness empathy things like that and that's it so um yeah it's been great um hopefully we can all be together again soon and until that day um i'm here thank you so much for watching episode one of frank's tv uh, I'm Franks. Bye.